So in this video, I have come up with some questions. If you feel like taking part in this wheelchair tag, you can either do it here in long form on YouTube. Wait a minute, I'm in a wheelchair. Let's do this thing. How did you gain confidence? When I first ended up in a wheelchair, it was a little bit awkward. People didn't know what to say. Oh no, you're in a wheelchair. But look, my shoe matches my chair. That is cute. Oh, thank you, I tried. <laughs> time for psychological warfare. You might have noticed that many women love shoe shopping. I'm not actually one of them, but it occurred to me that if I got a shoe that matched my wheelchair, then when women were awkward and didn't know what to say, I could detract from the awkwardness by pointing out the matching shoe. Most women will latch onto that with enthusiasm of an able-bodied person who feels awkward and wants to talk about anything else except the awkward thing. It works like a charm. They could relate to me because they match their outfits and, you know, their nail polish. So why not match a wheelchair? Suddenly I'm more relatable and it's distracted them from the thing they're feeling awkward about. And if they latch onto the shoe, then I'm like, hey, look at this. This matches too. And look at my gloves and my sunglasses. <laughs> and they have no idea that I actually am not a matchy shoe person. Why am I in a wheelchair? My foot fell off. If you'd like more details, here's a playlist. So I've been using a wheelchair since before amputation. Now, after amputation, I did try to get up on a prosthesis and I'm still trying, but it keeps following the pattern of, I'll be up for a few weeks, then something crazy will happen and I can't use the leg and I'm back in my wheelchair for months and months as a full-time wheelchair user. What is the make and model of my wheelchair? Tylite Aero X. I usually take off the footrest because it's in my way. Same with the armrests. When I first got in a wheelchair, insurance didn't want to cover one. So I ended up buying this sweet ride off the classifieds and I got lucky. And I'm so grateful to the lady who sold me this chair. Her husband had passed away and thankfully he was only a couple inches taller than me and about the same size. So everything fits well. But I looked on it almost like an organ donation. like because when you're in a wheelchair it's almost like it's part of your body and i feel so grateful that uh, it was passed on to me because i adore this chair it is my chariot do you use an electric or manual wheelchair manual hardcore you see before my disability i was an athlete i enjoy exercise so it's pretty natural that i enjoy pushing myself around this is one of the main reasons why i don't prefer people to push me it's not me being stubborn or independent. I just like exercise. And I do have an attachment that's motorized that can help with hills and whatnot. I don't pull it out very often, but for occasions where I really can't get up a hill myself, I have it on hand or on wheels. What is my dream chair? This one. So I would make a couple alterations if I could. I would lower the back of it so that I could reach in more directions more easily. I'd also add on a better stump rest. Also, handlebars. I would take those off because I'm sick of people trying to push me when I'm trying to get a workout. I've got a really good story about that. So subscribe and click the bell because I'll be posting that in a few weeks. What cushion do I use? Rojo. And if able-bodied people knew just how comfortable it is, they'd all be in wheelchairs. What is your favorite wheelchair accessory? These gloves. Look at them. I've tried many pairs of wheelchair gloves, and these are the best I've ever found. But the sad thing is they don't make them anymore, and I broke this pair. How did I break them? I broke them when I crashed my wheelchair going 30 miles an hour down a mountain, and I jumped out. It's a true story. I just want my gloves back. I'm a simple human being, all right? I just want good gloves. My other favorite wheelchair accessory is a lap belt for if you have a baby on board or a toddler. And even if you don't have kids, if you have grandkids or something, it comes in handy because you don't want them falling out when you go over a bump. Ugh. <laughs> You're too big, get off. <laughs> Recommended uses for smaller children. The only downside to this one is there's no strap between the kid's legs. So if they're wearing something slippery like a snowsuit, they could slide out or if you're going down a very steep hill. So I've been experimenting with making my own design. It works pretty well. It's a game changer if you're a wheelchair mom. 
I'll leave links in the description in case you want to see them. Do you have just one chair? Of course I have more than one wheelchair. You can never have too much of a good thing. So I keep one wheelchair at the top of the stairs, one at the bottom. That way, if I scoot between the two floors, I have a way to get around. I also have a racing wheelchair, which I love. What is one wheelchair skill that I'm good at, one that I wish I had? I'm not good at wheelies. <laughs> I've just never gone around and practicing them. It's on my to-do list, but I am great at hills. What is the best thing about being a wheelchair user? I would say it's all of the amazing people I've met, including you, and also how I've grown as a person through challenges. If I were to add one more, I'd say, I love having my wheelchair bag. Anytime, day or night, if I need a pencil or nail clippers or hand sanitizer, it's right there. I'm like a turtle carrying its home around on its back. The worst thing about being in a wheelchair? Able-bodied people don't always treat me like I'm human, even though I'm clearly 0.9 of a human. I mean, come on. Treat me like I'm still at least half a person. Weirdest slash stupidest thing someone has said to me about my wheelchair. I was in my wheelchair a few weeks before amputation and this guy held the door open for me and he was like, I know how you feel. I had bunion surgery once. Like, I appreciate the attempt at connection, but it didn't quite come off the way he intended. What advice would I give to people about to get a wheelchair? Watch Wheels No Heels on YouTube because she's got loads of helpful videos to help you decide what wheelchair is best for you. I agree with that advice. And I would add this, before picking a chair, if at all possible, try a few out because something might sound great on paper, but then once you get in it, you don't like it. I mentioned how I got this chair off the classified ads. Well, when the insurance finally decided they'd cover a chair for me, I ended up going to the appointments with my friend One Footed Phoenix. We were neighbors for several years, so I let her try out my chair to see what she liked. For example, I love the push rooms on this chair. I adore them. She didn't like them because she's a different person with different preferences. When our chairs came, we both had the same model and I did not like it. From the instant I sat down in that chair, I just didn't like the feel of it. So I ended up sticking with my secondhand chair and I will be buried in this chair. I love it deeply. Whereas One Footed Phoenix seems to be very comfortable in the exact same chair that she got. So different people have different preferences and you can't always tell what you will like just by reading about it. If at all possible, just sit in a few different chairs. You can even do what I did and get something off the classifieds so you're not spending as much money to try out a new model. Then if you like it, you can try to get one through insurance that's fitted to you, but at least you know what that chair feels like. Time to tag some other YouTube wheelchair users. One Footed Phoenix, it's your turn. And Asayuki, the double amputee, fabulous disability advocate who uses a wheelchair. And also Wheels of Fire. I've been focusing on my daily use chair in this video, but Wheels of Fire is all about racing wheelchairs. And the fabulous Footless Joe, if you see this video, we'd love to hear about your wheelchair. And perhaps most importantly, you. If you're in a wheelchair, please leave a comment. Tell me about your chair, what you like, what you don't like, what gave you confidence, any tips or tricks, we'd love to hear them. Until then, wish me luck. I'm going on an adventure. Yeah. If you'd like to participate in the wheelchair tag, I'll have all the questions in the description below, along with the links to other wheelchair tag videos as they come out. In the meantime, enjoy this video about when I crashed my chair down the mountain going 30 miles an hour. It's exciting.